software testing and automation specialization. When it comes to software testing, it's the top most popular learning program on Coursera. As of today, over 60,000 students have already enrolled in this specialization. Does that mean that you should join them? I'm Daniel, and today I bring you the software testing and automation specialization review. So things I'm going to cover in this review are course overview, structuring content, pricing and certification, and career opportunities. Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews, and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. And now let's start. Overview. Guys, with this course series, you will go on a journey through four courses, covering everything from basic testing techniques to advanced tools that will make your software shine. Here is what you can expect. Learning black box and white box testing. You will get familiar with two fundamental testing approaches to ensure your software works flawlessly inside and out. Mastering automated testing. You will discover how to make technology do the heavy lifting for you so you can save time and test your software efficiently. Diving into web and mobile testing, you will gain the skills to tackle testing on different platforms, ensuring your software runs smoothly on any device, explore informal testing theory and techniques. You will get a deeper understanding of the underlying principles behind testing, so you can plan and execute effective tests for your projects. So by the end of this specialization, you are expected to be able to tackle, testing and creating high-quality projects that stand the test of time. Who is it for? Guys, it's worth noting that while this specialization is beginner-friendly, it's not for complete newbies. Before diving into this course, there are a couple of things you should be familiar with. First, you'll need some programming experience. You should have some background in object-oriented programming, preferably in Java. If you've worked with Java before, that's awesome. Second, you will need to install and run an IDE on your computer. The course creators at the University of Minnesota recommend using Eclipse. But if you have a favorite IDE, feel free to use that. So, if you have got some Java experience under your belt and know your way around an IDE, you are all set to get the most out of this course. How long does it take? Folks, it's not a super big learning program to take. All in all, it will take you about 2 months to complete, provided you spend 10 hours a week on it. The great thing about it is that it's self-paced, so you choose your own time to learn. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. So, like I said, there are 4 courses here. Let's talk about them in more detail. Introduction to Software Testing This course is all about software testing from theory to practice. You will learn the core principles of testing and how to apply them in real-world scenarios. You will cover writing tests to achieve various quality goals, like checking code coverage, finding defects, and validating statistically. Moreover, you will get practical experience creating detailed test plans. Lastly, you will master the skill of preparing clear defect reports black box and white box testing. In this course, you will dive into essential skills for effective software testing. You will start by learning how to evaluate software requirements to ensure they are clear and measurable. Then you will move on to defining testable units within program specifications. You will also become an expert in using different black box testing methods like boundary value analysis, fuzzing, and random selection. Moreover, you will develop the ability to create automated tests and build test oracles for automated software verification. Introduction to Automated Analysis In this course, folks, you will be diving into automated analysis. Basically, automated analysis means using advanced techniques to generate a tons of tests automatically to see if software meets its requirements. You will cover the theory behind these methods and see how they are applied in real examples web and mobile testing with Selenium. And in this final course, you will be diving into the essential concepts of testing for web and mobile platforms. You will explore the core techniques and focus on using Selenium as a framework to automate testing for these applications. Throughout the course, you will build a strong understanding of the principles behind testing web and mobile apps. You will also learn how to effectively use Selenium to automate the execution of tests. 
And guys, it's not all theory. You will have a lot of hands-on experience by learning how to create test plans, test suites, and test analysis reports. You will also gain skills in developing properties and assertions within your code to help automate test generation. Plus, you will discover how to set up preconditions for methods to support formal proofs of corrections. Price and certification. All right, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And I totally understand. Months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback I've seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Career opportunities. So as I'm sure many of you are wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, I can say that potentially it does. This course teaches you some solid skills. That kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. So guys, it's completely up to you. If you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career, or just a way to expand your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses and learning programs and do some interview preparation if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Student reviews. Okay, folks, time to look at some student reviews. Well, I can say that the majority of reviews for this course are pretty positive. But as with every course out there, there is praise and there are complaints. So let's start with positive reviews. The majority of students know that this course series is well-structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. I must say, good course in terms of conceptual learning, especially for making learners aware of various aspects of testing web and mob application. In terms of practical learning, this course is quite lacking in the feedback to learners. Learners have to figure out the problem and the solution by themselves, without proper guidance. So keep all that in mind, folks. Is the software testing and automation specialization worth it? I know you might be wondering. Is this course series actually worth investing my time and hard-earned cash into? And honestly, I think that choosing this specialization is a smart move if you are serious about mastering the essential skills in software testing and automation. This specialization not only offers some great foundational knowledge in testing methodologies, it also dives deep into automation techniques crucial for today's software development landscape. In my opinion, it offers practical insights and hands-on experience that will set you apart in the competitive tech industry. All right, my friends, and that's all about my software testing and automation specialization review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.